guys, uh, we have three more comics left, everyone. Just three more. Everybody okay with that? Yeah. Three more. Here we go. Uh, this next guy, you may recognize this next comic as the guy you swiped left on. <laughs> Please give it up for Mario Suarez! It's a huge mistake. I swear to God. You're going to regret this. I had the same problem, like people are always like, oh, you remind me of someone famous, the little uh, fat boy scout from the movie Up. And I was like, oh, I'll take the W. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, had a weird day. I, uh, look at all these smiling faces. I went to Facebook and I said, I need to change my relationship status, okay? I needed to just go from single to just alone. <laughs> just, <laughs> single is just a little too hopeful. It implies that, you know, I'm trying and I'm doing things. <laughs> you know? I was like, uh, I downloaded the apps, guys. Fuck yourself. Uh, <laughs> so, but, um, you know, dating is tough. Everyone knows that. And sometimes it has nothing to do with the people that, you know, you're actually dating. The last girl I was dating, she was great. She was smart. She was funny. She was career driven. Um, the problem was uh, her mother, Carol. <laughs> Uh, let's see, what's the best way to describe this? Carol is my least favorite cancer survivor. Uh, so what I meant to say is I wish she was dead. Uh, preferably by my hands, but it could be, you know, this guy, your big one. <laughs> he could take Carol down in about a second. Um, but, uh, you know, it's not like I would just go in and murder her, right? Uh, I don't want to go to jail. Uh, but, uh, if I do get a chance to backdoor the future of the whole thing, I'm gonna get in the DeLorean, I'm gonna go to the 80s, I'll, I'll invest in Apple, uh, I will uh, buy property in Santa Monica, and I will introduce Carol to my really good friend, Bill Cosby. <laughs> hey, hey, don't feel bad for this woman. She made me root for cancer, all right? Uh, just, it, and this is the thing about the dating sites. I've done them all. Every single one you could possibly think of. The eHarmonies, the Match.coms, the Bumbles, the Tinders, the Furries, the Black People Meet, and none of them <laughs> It's so frustrating, you know? And it's also kind of scary. Anyone here ever match at 2.30 uh, in the morning and decide to go meet up with those people? Yes. You're a bunch of fucking liars. <laughs> this guy, this guy fucks. <laughs> He's like, I don't know what you're talking about. He's like, I have a date for that time. Uh, <laughs> so, but uh, a few things will happen if you end up uh, meeting up with that person at 2.30 in the morning. Uh, in one direction, you'll, you'll probably have sex. Uh, the other side, you might get murdered. Uh, actually, you might have sex and get murdered. And not necessarily in that order. Oh, come on, guys, that's a good joke. That's like, that's a crime scene investigation joke and a necrophiliac joke. In one, you're welcome. Where are my necrophiliacs at? Yeah. All right, perfect. Front and center as I want it. Yeah. But, um, you know, the tough part is with the dating sites um, is uh, it's just going through and back again. Uh, you know, you end up feeling jaded. And one of the things that occurs is uh, you have to find another way. And there's hope for all of us. I have three good ideas for dating apps. All right. Uh, the first one, it's called Spinster. It's not really a dating app. It's just for cat moms and dads to share their pictures together and uh, celebrate themselves dying alone. Uh, the second one is very self-explanatory. It's just called uh, Fat People Meet. <laughs> Guess who's available? Uh, <laughs> the third one is my personal favorite. It's called Settle Now. Uh, I would have gone with Settle.com, but some asshole lawyer bought the rights to that. Uh, so what happens with Settle Now is this. You, you have to be 35 or older. You give us all your information, what you're into, and then I put all that stuff aside, and I say, settle now. <laughs> and that's just the other scary things. This is the other thing, scary thing, is the sexual safety, right? Like, you know, and I have to say, I've been very good. You know, my condom, my policy with condoms is just like my bicycle helmet. 95% of the time, I'm wearing that bicycle helmet. But 5% of the time, I just want to feel the wind through my hair. <laughs> or the rain on my head. I want to have unprotected sex. Thank you, everyone. Good night.